Green Chemistry, by Joshua Mason. Green Chemistry, also known as Sustainable or Environmentally Safe Chemistry, is a set of principles and practices that aim to reduce the use of hazardous materials in chemical products. Polyethylene, polyethylene, such a useful and versatile substance, has become a major part of the lives of human beings. They depend upon it for sandwich bags, cling wrap, car covers, squeeze bottles, liners for tanks and ponds, moisture barriers in construction, freezer backs, water pipes, wire and cable insulation, extrusion coating and many other things. But there is a disadvantage, polyethylene has a half-life of around 700 years. This means that it takes 700 years for half the atoms in polyethylene to decay. This leaves a noticeable scar on the environment. When plastics contain in large amounts of certain elements, like chlorine, in vinyl, are burned, it releases chlorine into the atmosphere. When it reaches the ozone layer the chlorine acts like a catalyst and breaks down the ozone layer, exposing humans to high levels of harmful UV radiation. The aim of green chemistry is to utilize less harmful substances and use them instead of plastics so as not to harm the environment. This is achieved with four aims that sum up the 12 principles of green chemistry. Efficient use of energy, hazard reduction, waste minimization, and a use of renewable resources. Green chemistry is used in many aspects of life today for important things. One thing being used that is better for the environment is biodegradable plastic substitutes. Biodegradable plastics are useful materials that deteriorate naturally due to the environment. They don't cause negative effects and they reduce back into the earth within a few years. Glass bottles, however, take one million years to fully disappear. Using biodegradable plastics will cause there to be less waste in the environment and also enable easy recycling. These environment-loving substances are made of starch, a naturally occurring sugar found in corn, potatoes, technica and other organic materials. Some objects that the starch plastic is used for are disposable items, such as packaging and catering items, crockery, cutlery, pots, bowls, straws and bags, constituting about 50% of the big plastics market. Thermoplastic starch currently represents the most widely used of plastic. Pure starch possesses the characteristic of being able to absorb humidity and is thus being used for the production of drug capsules in the pharmaceutical sector. Flexibilizer and plasticizer such as sorbitol and glycerin are added so the starch can also be processed thermoplastically. By varying the amounts of these additives, the characteristic of the material can be tailored to specific needs, also called thermoplastical starch. Laquendo TTS 7 Voice Experience Contagious Studio 7 Hyman Chemistry Units 1 and Green Chemistry by Dr. Nicholas Perry Producers of this podcast are not affiliated with these companies or peoples in any. Thank you for watching. All aspects of this project were 100% serious. There is no joviality in it of any form. At all. Thank you.